Hi there and welcome to this tutorial about the corner tool in Affinity Designer. The corner tool is a fantastic way of rounding off sharp corners on any shape. For instance on this shape you can see a sharp corner here and would probably want to work on that and actually make it more rounded and perhaps more like an egg. So we can actually select the corner tool and we can hover over the sharp corner and by dragging inwards, you'll see we create a red ring. And the actual shape actually forms around the ring's circumference. So you can move it to create more of an exaggerated rounding corner or more of a subtle rounded corner. You'll probably see that happen. If you release it, you can always go back and change this again and set it exactly how you want. What you're doing here is changing the corner radius and you can see in the context toolbar at the top the actual value changes as you drag. I'll just show you that. If you'd like to define the corner size more precisely you can actually adjust the setting on the context toolbar. So say we wanted a more precise 15 millimeter corner radius, type in 15 press enter and you'll see that the corner has changed in size. Incidentally on the context toolbar you can, you're also able to change the type of corner. Um, because we're doing an egg shape here, a, a rounded corner makes sense but you can do some different corners and the principles of corner sizing still apply. And back to the rounded corner. Before moving on, one of the key features of the corner tool is that the corner radius is never affected by resizing. So in this example, if we select the shape and resize, constraining the aspect ratio with the shift key, we'll find that when we go back to the corner tool, select the corner, and you'll find it's still set to 15 millimeter. One nice feature of the corner tool is that you're able to apply this rounding to the corners to more than one shape at the same time. So in this example we have four egg shapes, if you like, and they all have the sharp corners on the, uh, on the inner area in, in here. So we'll actually select them. And we can actually do a marquee select, if you like. apply the corner tool and then drag and you find that all of the sharp corners are made rounded by the sizing on the screen or by using the context toolbar and there we have it. If we do an undo we can be selective about it as well just individual selection one, two and then size again. There we have it. For geometric shapes, the corner tool can also be applied. To show a few examples, this triangle we can round the corners off selectively. Using a multiple selection, we can round the corners off. In this case, by pulling outwards, I'll just pull that a little bit more, just for more of a, a rounding of the corners. This arrow shape, I can just drag in there and round off. Even the end node. The corner tool can be just as effective with text which has been previously converted to curves. So in this example we've got some characters and with a click of convert to curves we can then go to the corner tool and then, and then selectively drag in to round corners like so. 
one useful little feature is that when you apply the corner tool like this, by pressing the command key, you'll be able to adjust the curved shape just by using curve drawing, just dragging the segment there. Okay, that concludes this uh, short tutorial. Uh, we hope to have some more videos coming along very soon, and we hope you enjoyed watching.